good old days, the good old days. These were the lines I was bombarded with in my childhood phase. I was forced to ask if some world did exist long before now, in which its people never knew the meaning of the word foul. I was told of about Macaulay, and the name Namdi Azikwe was a sing song. I heard of Obafemi Awolowo and had a lesson about Afawa Balewa. Saldana of Sokoto was a regular name on the lips of my history teacher. They say, these men are in the class of Martin Luther King Jr. I was told that Ibrahim Lincoln was in no way superior to Albany Koku. They say Indira Gandhi would not pass Amadou Bello by without a word of courtesy. Even Mahatma Gandhi, I was told, saw greatness in all my past leaders. The men through whom my Nigeria was capped and christened the giant of Africa. The men through whom Nigeria was called the land of milk and honey. I sure know that my Nigeria used to be very great. I knew that it once boasted of the richest country in the sub-Sahara until it was invaded by our own brothers who betrayed our trust and looted the rich resources we once boasted of. I was told Nigeria was once at the front seat until some compatriots selfishly thought we no longer belong there. Now, we walked like the elephants, and our ration was nothing compared to the ants. We toiled like the jack in the land of our fathers, but our own brothers told us we don't deserve a place in the household. We were tortured. We were tortured by our own siblings, in whose custody our fathers left us. We were embellished with bruises, while the youngest of their offspring in Lamborghini cruises. Tears flooded our eyes like the rain would the drainage. It was none of their business as we could go rot in the cage. Human rights died in our father's household and no one of us dared to raise a voice. We couldn't even be so bold. Pain was all we knew in our own fatherland. In place of food, we sometimes ate sand. Yes, sand. No, I didn't say sardine. That was a luxury, even if it would be shared among a dozen. It was in the midst of this, the lion would call out, the good old days, the good old days. Really, it was indeed the good old days. Those days that witnessed the existence of Inamdi Azikwe, Saldana of Sokoto, Sir Amadu Belu, Olufumilaya Ransom Kuti, Efunro Yetinubu, Queen Moremi, Margaret Epo, Queen Amina, Flora Wakba, Tafawa Balewa. The good old days, the good old days. Here we are, desperately wanting to part ways. But I wonder if that was the solution we need. Or we rather chastise our own brothers for their greed. But that's in the past now. Hope is now rekindled. And our mouths are a little bridled. It was only yesterday that the masses trooped out like a mammoth crowd to cast their ballots with a shout of Say Baba rending the air so loud. Hundreds walked thousands of kilometers in solidarity with Muhammad Buhari. Rumor even had it of one of Nigerian family who had their own work in faraway Malawi. None of these men was a drug addict. Not even one of them was a psycho. They only saw it as a call, a solidarity errand on which they must go. But wait a minute. We know Buhari. Yes, we know Buhari. Though it was a little I know of him, but so much you do know. I am too young to know as much as you do, but the little I know of him tells so much about him. He was upright, yes, very responsible. He loves his fatherland. He was tired of the rot in governance. 
Buhari could no longer bear the corruption in the Nigerian society and he would rather not live a day longer than watch Nigeria perish in it. And for us, he swung into action, meeting with failure each time. But alas, he conquered. He finally won. And you wouldn't expect anything less from a man. A man who has seen heaven and hell. One who has been tortured by defeat. He is a leader who means business ready to take responsibilities for his actions and inactions. Here is one who shares some semblance with our hero's past. He has seen too much for him to fail us. He has come a long way for him to toy with our future. rather be writing our today with the pain of yesteryear to put a substance in our tomorrow. He only needs more time, as much as we would allow him. He, he never failed us in the past. He wouldn't come around this time only to soil his name. Like many Nigerians, I once screamed, say Baba, but unlike a chunk of that population now, I would not shy away from saying it again. Nigerian economy has not been this horrible, but have we seen corruption fought to a standstill in this manner? That should be the recipe on which our hopes stand, the grease which rubs our palms together, the lubricant that greases the wheels of the nation, Nigeria. We shall overcome soon, and very soon. Again, like me, the population of Nigeria would shout, Say Baba, and the song of Jubilee will occupy the air, and we would take back our front role in the Committee of Nations. It won't be long, just a little more time. And we won't only say Baba, but also, together, we will hail Niger. Ah.